Watch you guys in this video we're going to be creating a Windows image template for the VMware workstation. Now this is the VMware workstation 12 Pro so let's go ahead and start this off. So what we're going to do first is install Windows 10. We're going to need a nice fresh clean image so there I am going to go to and browse to my Windows ISO. I've downloaded a fresh Windows ISO of Windows 10 and then we're going to install this. I'm going to name it Windows 10 x64 and uh, Microsoft Windows. Leave that as it is and then choose the location where we want to store our actual uh, virtual machines. So I'm going to choose my F drive here and click on next. Now you can choose the maximum size of disk you want to use and we're going to use the split virtual disk into multiple files. Uh, this is going to obviously make it easier to move the virtual machine to another computer. So we're going to leave that as is and uh, you can just change the size to what you want and click next. Once we've done that you can uh, change some of the custom hardware if you want to uh, depending on what you want to change it to or what you're doing this uh, job for. So I'm going to leave the virtual memory as it is just uh, give that a bit more processing power because I've got plenty and uh, I think we're going to leave that as it is but if you need to change anything else you can do and then click finish. Now once we've done that we should be ready to rock and you can see here we've got it all ready to go. So we can now uh, power on this virtual machine and start to install it. So let this boot up. Now take a bit of time to boot up. Now once we've done this we're going to do some tweaks to it to make sure it's nice and clean and how we want it. And then when we get it how we want it we can then deploy that to uh, other virtual environments. So we can see here now we've got the uh, Windows install. We can choose our language to whatever we want to use. I'm just going to change this uh, to the English currency here. If you're living in another country you can change it to whatever you like and that's fine and then we can go next. Now we want to click on install here and this will take a bit of time to set up. Now we don't have a key here but if you have a key uh, you can enter this key if it's a product key for many different computers you can use that we're going to be using Windows 10 Pro and I'm not going to use a key for this one uh, but you can do if you do have a volume key which you want to use so we're going to go uh, next here and then custom install and we can just leave that as it is and click next this will then start to install Windows and then once that's installed you'll get to the desktop just as you see here so first off we're going to change the resolution size I'm just going to make this 1920 by 1080 and there we go and then we're going to keep these changes. So now you can see there's our virtual machine and we've now installed Windows 10 onto it. Now it's very important that we get all the latest updates so I'm just going to go ahead and go into settings here open this up and then go into update and security and just make sure that we've got all the latest uh, updates and patches and stuff like that on here. Now once we've done this we need to reboot the system and uh, it will automatically want to reboot once you've updated. So update and restart and let that restart. Now once we've got that restarted it will start to get things ready for us and install all our updates. Now we want to make sure that we've got all the latest patches and stuff for this so we're going to just check and make sure that it's got all the latest updates because that's really important when you're rolling this image out. So what we're going to do here is check, as you can see, we've got all the latest updates. Now you can install whatever software you want on here, uh, which you, you're going to be using on that uh, machine. Um, but what we're going to do here is go into GP Edit, and uh, you can see here we're going to be typing .msc to open up the Group Policy Editor. And uh, what that's going to do, is allow us to make some changes. Now you can make whatever changes you want inside here. I'm just going to make a couple of them just to show you. But basically if you know your way around the group policy uh, editor you can actually make quite a few different changes. Now there is a few that I want to change and uh, one of them is Cortana. I don't need Cortana on there. So I'm just going to uh, disable that. But you can leave Cortana on it if you require to have Cortana. And if you don't want to have the Windows search, you can disable the Windows search and all those good things there. You can completely uh, disable and enable whatever you like uh, for your image. So I'm just going to uh, disable uh, Cortana here. 
And I'm also going to go into Cortana above uh, the lock screen and we're just going to disable that as well. I don't need it at all. Now, if you do need that, you can leave this part on. And again, if you want to install other programs on here, you can also do that. So it depends on what you want to do. But the next thing I want to do is configure the Windows updates. So we've just updated all our image. So what I'm going to do here is I want control of the updates on this system. And uh, what we're going to do here is just go into configure automatic updates. And uh, once we get in here, you can see we've got enable or disable. So if I wanted to disable uh, Windows updates, you can do. But we're just going to go enable here. And uh, we're going to select notify for download and auto install. So that's what we're going to do here and click OK. Now you can make more changes in there if you want to. I'm not going to spend loads of time doing that because it does take quite a long time. If you want to see a video on the whole process of that, then let me know in the comment section. I'll see if I can do that. So now we're going into uh, the search box here and uh, we're going to type services. And what we're going to do here is uh, disable the indexing service. And sometimes this can uh, tax the uh, hard drive a fair bit and, and slow uh, performance down so what we're going to do is just disable this one now you can disable other services if you feel the need to or you've got other services that you want to disable you can do you can go through here and disable whatever you want okay so we're going to stop this and then we're going to uh, stop the service completely so it won't run anymore now you can also do that in group policy now once we've done here we can close uh, services off Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. So you can optimize this how you like. You can set up windows how you like, um, make what changes you like at this stage, and this will be uh, your template, okay? So install the software you need and also uh, make the changes you want here. So what we're gonna do first is go into the start button, right click and go system. And then on the right hand side, we're gonna click system info. And then on there, what we're gonna do is come down to advanced system settings. Now, once we've done this, we're gonna come over to the performance area and click on settings. Now, obviously, because we're running on a virtual machine here and we're gonna be running virtual machines, we don't need to have all this stuff. So we're gonna adjust this for best performance. So we're gonna push the adjust for best performance, apply this, and then okay. And then we can okay that again and close this box out. And now we can close that box off. Now the next step, what we're gonna do is shut the actual uh, virtual machine down, and then we're gonna defrag uh, the actual image that we've just created, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, click on the start button, and then hit the uh, power settings here, and then shut down, like so. This will shut down our virtual machine. And once we've done that, we can then go to our virtual machine and then start to defrag it. So we don't want a fragmented uh, drive. So let's go over to where it says Windows 10 X64. Right click on that there and then go down to settings. This box will pop up, virtual machine settings. Look for hard disk there and on the right hand side, you can see defragment. So we're gonna defrag that and it will depend on how big the drive is on how long it's gonna take to defrag that virtual disk. Once that's been completed, we can click OK, and we can click OK again and close that box down. So next up, what we're gonna do is right click on Windows 10 X64, and we're gonna go to where it says Power, and then what we wanna do here is we wanna go Power onto Firmware. This is basically gonna take us into our Virtual Machine BIOS, and uh, once it loads up, there we go. I'll just zoom in here so you can see. And uh, what we need to do here is just use our keys here to navigate across to the advanced tab. And then what we're gonna do is go down to where it says input output device configuration. And because this is for a virtual machine, we're just gonna disable all these. We don't need serial port A, B, uh, parallel port or floppy disk. We can just disable all this stuff. So let's just go ahead and disable these. There we go, and they're disabled. Now we can push F10 and save and exit out of our Phoenix BIOS setup utility. So we're just gonna say yes to this, and we're back to where we are here, and it will start to boot up. And then once that gets to the desktop, we'll close the video off and go on to part two. 
So as you can see, 10 minutes has passed and uh, we're already there. We've got our system optimized and ready for the next part, which is then creating our image. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again shortly for part two. Bye for now. Thank you.